Hi, I'm Mike Lee with Team Horizon, and this is a Team Tech Tip. Today we're going to be creating the pre-flight setup. One of the unique features of the Spectrum DX18, DX9, and DX6 new generation radios is the ability to create a pre-flight checklist. Just as full-scale pilots typically use, the pre-flight checklist is a safety feature designed to ensure the pilot takes every precaution necessary to safely and efficiently operate his aircraft. Certainly a pilot can simply memorize the che checklist items if he wants to, but by using the checklist, the pilot is far less likely to make a mistake or forget an item. In the case of our RC models, there's no doubt that our modern aircraft have become more sophisticated than ever before. Having the flaps in the wrong position for takeoff could result in disaster. So in order to help prevent that from happening, we can also use a checklist to set the control functions in a proper position prior to flying. Let's take a look. We're now, do, we're now going to do the setup on the DX-18, which is the same setup as you'll use on the DX-9 and the DX-6. From the operational mode, you're going to press into the function list. From here, you've got to scroll all the way down to System Setup to press the scroll switch once. Answer the question of RF will be disabled. Answer yes. You're now in the system setup and scroll down to the pre-flight setup. Depress the scroll switch once. Here you have an empty menu in which you can fill it in with some of the pre-written uh, pre-flight checklist items and we're going to show you that right now. Right now we're in pre-flight item number one. It says inhibit. Press the scroll switch once. And now you can go through all of these commands that are already on the system. Receiver battery test, fuel tank full, hatch attached, test controls, wing bolts, and so on. It's a pretty extensive list. And it gets longer every time that uh, we get an update on our systems. So don't be uh, afraid to add your own. How do you do that? Let's go right on up to the top and just put, pick one off, fuel tank full. Maybe we don't want to put that on there. So let's just depress the scroll switch once. And now you see it's highlighted in pre-flight number one. It's active. Go ahead and depress the scroll switch one more time. Now you have the name fuel tank full. We can now scroll on over here and change it to whatever we want. Just like you would name the model. So let's just put something on here. We're going to just put down new model. Model tank full. You can spell whatever you want out there, limited only by the line length. Once you're done, go to back. And you can see pre-flight item checklist model tank fuel full. Now go on down to the bottom, and you can see right here it's asking for the modulation, whether it's inhibited or active. If it's active, it means that your aircraft will operate while it's in the pre-flight setup. If it's an inhibit, your aircraft will not operate because it will not get a signal from the transmitter. The next item is execution. When do you want it to execute? Right now it's an inhibit. Just press the scroll switch once. You can go every per session that the checklist comes off, or you can go every flight. Every flight meaning every time you turn on the uh, radio, it assumes that is a new flight. In my case, I go every flight. But let's take a look at per session. It means that every time you turn on, it's actually going to be all, already past the pre-flight setup after the first time. And it stays that way all day. In my case, I want to go per flight. Go ahead and back on out, and you're done. But you see, that's the first thing that shows up when the system goes active. The pre-flight checklist comes up first, model tank full. Now let's take an example of one that's already done and how it works on the real aircraft. Now that we've made our checklist for this particular aircraft, which is four items, we've got to turn on our DX-18 and you'll see that the system immediately goes into the checklist right there. The pre-flight checklist is up and it's telling me the throttle lock on. My throttle lock is now on. Battery connected. It is connected. Control check. Right now we're in, on the uh, inhibited side so nothing's going to work because we're not putting out any RF. 
and the throttle lock can come off at this time. So now how do we get through the checklist? Simply depress your scroll switch for each checklist item. Throttle lock is on. Check. Battery connected. Check. Control check. As you see it's not moving at all because I have it inhibited. Check. Throttle lock off. Check. The aircraft now goes active. Perfect response. That's the pre-flight checklist, guys. Works great. Now that you have seen how to prepare the pre-flight setup checklist, you can see that having this tool on the radio will allow you to set the controls and switches on your Spectrum radio so that when the radio goes active, you won't be surprised in the wrong way. Each model you have in memory can have its own checklist custom created by you to put the airplane in the proper mode and setting for each flight. Note that when going through the checklist, your model will not be active and that also means the throttle control will not be active. The model cannot start the motor while the checklist is being used. Setting up the pre-flight checklist is rapid and easy and a great method of adding a layer of safety to your models. I hope that this Team Tech tip has been of value to you and has enhanced your enjoyment of the hobby. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and techniques from Team Horizon. I'm Mike Lee with Team Horizon and you just got a Team Tech tip. Thanks for joining us.